John Balakian. And I'm Stephanie Berugian. Topping our news, we're learning more about a rollover crash that sent four people to the hospital, including a five year old and an infant. Our Gabe Salazar is live at Fresno Police Headquarters. And Gabe, that driver is now facing felony charges. Yeah, that's right. A five year old traveling in that speeding car is in critical but stable condition tonight. Now, the woman who was driving is now facing felony child endangerment charges after witnesses say she ran a red light before the crash. 22 year old Jane Hunter now facing felony child endangerment charges after witnesses say they saw her driving 80 to 100 miles per hour in a school zone, despite the fact that she had a five year old in the vehicle. You can see signs posted at 25 miles per hour, but witnesses say a car carrying a five year old was speeding at 80 to 100 miles per hour before eventually striking another car carrying an infant. Uh, it sent both of the vehicles spinning. The Kia ended up striking a pole that was on the uh, uh, on the sidewalk, causing the vehicle to uh, to flip. Police say Hunter struck a car that had just pulled away from a stop sign at the intersection of Normal Street at Fresno Street. The male driver had an infant in the car. Miraculously, both suffered minor injuries. Uh, both he and uh, the infant were transported to the hospital and they are in stable condition. Uh, the driver is actually facing felony charges for felony child endangerment uh, with the potential for other traffic violations um, to follow based upon uh, the investigation. Though police say this wasn't an organized street race, there are no units assigned to specifically traffic vehicles traveling at excessive speeds due to Fresno's skyrocketing crime rate. The gang operation started a week plus ago, so that's what our focus is. We do not have any units that are directly uh, focusing on uh, the street racing. Now, our, our normal patrol officers will be dealing with anybody, any reports of street racing that comes up, but we do not have a task force or reassigned anybody to specifically work with them like this. Now, witnesses reported seeing a second car speeding alongside that Kia, but police tell me that that car wasn't involved in the crash. For now, reporting in downtown Fresno, Gabe Salazar, KC24, Local News That Matters. Gabe, thank you.